In this video, I'll walk you through how to install R, RStudio, and Radiant on a Mac. So we're on the install page. If you're wondering how we got here, just type in Radiant RStats install, and your browser should be able to find the install page like this. All right. So if we scroll down a bit, we'll see information about how to uh, install RR Studio and Radiant on Mac OS. And so the first thing we need to determine is if the Mac that you have has an Intel or an ARM chip. So models launched after 2020 are most likely to have um, to have an ARM chip. Uh, ones before that would have Intel chips. All right, so depending on which model you have, you should choose one or the other. Because what we're doing first here is we're going to install R. And so R is the programming language. So the tool that goes with that, uh, we're going to install first. And I am uh, demoing this on, a, on an ARM Mac. It's one of the new M1 uh, Mac OS systems. And so I'm going to click here, and it's going to try to download the latest version of R. All right, there it is. So let's go ahead and open that up and just follow the defaults. So it's going to install R for us. And I'm just agreeing with all the defaults. And let's go ahead and put in my password. Here we go. All right. OK, so do we want to remove the installer? Yep, sure, no problem. Let's go ahead and just remove that. And so now we're going to need to find where R is. All right, so that should be in our applications folder. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that just to open up R. Here we go. And we're not, not actually going to use this application directly. We're going to use it through our studio. But to install our studio, we need to do one more step. Let's go back to our browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this entire command. So you just select the whole thing, including the source that it says in the front here. Copy that and paste that into the R console. Okay. Now I just press enter. So it's going to start downloading some packages and installing those. So this will take a minute or two as it does that. And then it's going to start telling us more about the additional components that it wants to install, particularly RStudio. All right, so here it's downloaded our studio, and we're just going to take this icon and just drag it over to the applications, drag it over to the applications folder, and we're all set. In the meantime, in R, it's asked us if we want to proceed and install TinyTech, and the answer to that will be yes. We just type that letter Y and press Enter. So TinyTech uh, gets us access to. Uh, LaTeX, which allows us to uh, create nicely form formatted graphs, but all sorry uh, equations, uh, but also to uh, process and create from our reports uh, PDFs, Word documents, PowerPoints, and so on. So this is something that you're going to want. All right, so let's go ahead and put in our password again. This is going to give it access to our To install properly. All right, looks like everything was completed properly. So as it says here, installation complete, close R, restart or start our studio and select start radiant from the add-ins menu. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, there's nothing we need to save here. So we can just go ahead and click that. 
And now we can just use this application that's still open to go to our applications. And there we see our studio. So we can add this to the doc. So let's go ahead and do that. Because that way it's always directly accessible for you. All right, so on a Mac with an M1 chip, you would need to install Rosetta. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll need our password again. Again, all of this is happening automatically. I don't have to do any additional steps. Just now and then I have to say yes, or I have to um, I type in my password. So let's see if our studio will open now. There we go. So this is our studio. And if you click on the add-ins dropdown, right? So here at the top, you see add-ins, click on that. Click on start gradient. And all that, that click really does is just runs this command, which is to open up radiant, to start radiant in your default browser. And there we go. This is the radiant application. We are now in data manage. And within that particular tab, we can load and save data. Uh, there's a lot more to this application, but we'll get to see that later on. So for now, I'm just going to close it down because this is evidence that I'm completely done with the install. I've started up Radiant in my default browser. It shows me the diamonds data set. This is the default data set that's always loaded when you start Radiant. And so I'm all set, ready to go. So let's go ahead and close. And let's take a look at what's going on in our studio. Nothing much. All right, so I'm done here with our studio as well. Go ahead and close that. It'll ask me if I want to save the workspace. There's nothing that you need to save here, so go ahead and save that. And we have completed the install process for our, our studio and Radiant on a Mac.